Hello, how are you doing? Hope you are doing well. Today I want to find a solution to a problem I have which is related to these uh, YouTube videos and is uh, happening when I am trying to edit in these videos. I am editing these videos with my laptop. I don't have a PC. So when I am trying to edit these videos, uh, my laptop is going very slow and I must say this laptop is very good and had, uh, has a lot of power. But uh, the good thing about this uh, laptop uh, that I was aware when I bought it is that it has a Thunderbolt 3 port. So this allowed me to um, set a, an external graphics card to this laptop and uh, this way uh, have uh, working this external uh, graphics card and not the integrated one from my laptop. So um, this will relieve the amount of processes my, my laptop has to do when editing videos. So I am uh, here in Amazon.com and what I want to do is to search uh, an external uh, GPU to, for my laptop. So the first thing I am doing is searching this uh, term and well, let's see what we see here. Uh, okay, a lot of things. Well, the problem there is with this uh, GPU uh, topic is that uh, other laptops uh, have uh, also Thunderbolt 3, but uh, what is very important is the amount of lanes um, there is in this uh, Thunderbolt port. And with my laptop, fortunately, there is no problem because it has uh, four instead of two. So that won't make me having any uh, problem with uh, the compatibility with the boxes. The problem I will have is uh, when choosing the graphics card because uh, my, my edition program, which is uh, Adobe Premiere Rush, has some compatibility issues with some graphics cards, so I need to choose the recommended ones. So, uh, this box, um, I've seen it um, before. Um, it's a good one because it has uh, Thunderbolt 3, which is the port that I have in my laptop. Let's see the reviews uh, about my laptop. Okay, so there is... It is working with a laptop uh, 700, which is an inferior version from mine, which is a 900. So that's good. It should work uh, great. Good, good. Let's see other reviews. Okay, good for gaming. Noisy fan. Well, that's not a problem for me. I, I don't care. Uh, at the end, is something external that uh, I am going to use only for gaming or editing videos, so it's okay. Okay, let's see. It looks good. It has uh, very good reviews. Okay, uh, the truth is not very nice, uh, not very beautiful, the box. Um, you see this one has a uh, low reviews and that um, I, I don't trust a product when I see less than four stars um, no 
Okay. Uh, and the prices also are a little high. <laughs> Let's check others. Well, this, wow, with the lights and everything. <laughs> no, because uh, I don't need a uh, multiple hub because I already have one. Uh, what I want is um, the box for inserting my uh, external graphics card that allows uh, to have the port Thunderbolt uh, 3. So let's check for, for the box what we can find. Um, okay. Oh. This one is very cheap and looks uh, small and has a very good ratings too. I don't know. I I think uh I don't see this one has the Thunderbolt 3 port, so I'm not sure this one is the correct one. Uh, I will take the, I will dig more about it, but I think the first one I've seen before is, is good. Now what I want to look for is to check the graphics cards because with the software that I am using for editing videos, which is Adobe Premiere Rush, uh, there are compatibility problems, so I need to check the recommended list of graphic uh, cards from, from Adobe for, for this uh, program, Adobe Rush graphics um, graphic car yeah because I've seen uh, many people have this issue that they cannot uh, use their graphic card with this um, with this program so we need to check the list of compatible graphic cards from from Adobe I like this program for video edition because it's like uh, very fast to do everything, uh, just the simple things. And for starting, I think it's um, very, very good to have a simple interface. And uh, well, I know uh, professional YouTubers use the, the Premiere Pro, but for me, I just prefer this one. So here I don't see nothing about graphics card. Let's go here. Oh, recommended graphics cards. Okay, let's go. And let's see. Uh, I hear nothing. Uh, GPU. Okay, system requirements. Okay. Well, um, the good thing for my laptop, it, it has 16 uh, GB of RAM, so that's great. And uh, also SSD I have in my laptop. So, well, let's click in the recommended graphics cards. Okay, this is the list. Okay, so let's see the CUDA because the OpenCL are open source. Um, 
but uh, I prefer the, the other ones. Okay, so let's check the CUDA. Well, let's see, um, NVIDIA, but I don't know the difference between RTX and GTX. Um, let's check. Okay, let's check uh, the differences. Well, I want to to see the difference because I don't want anything super powerful. I don't need that for <laughs> editing videos. Just uh, powerful uh, enough. Okay, so it's not necessary to spend uh, hundreds and hundreds of, of dollars in a graphic card for, for my use. Okay, RTX, include RT cores. Um, let's check the. It seems that the RTX are superior from the others so let's check the prices uh, wow um, well this one seems expensive let's check gtx okay these prices are different okay so yeah i think uh, for my use i will take uh, GTX and uh, that will be great. Let's check again the recommended uh, and compatible uh, graphic card 1660 well looks good there are better and there are worst um, well, let's check 1050, no, it is not on the list. Okay, so I had uh, some research to do uh, regarding the graphic cards and the, the box uh, with uh, Thunderbolt 3. So now I've decided and uh, this is uh, what I am going to buy. Okay, so first the, the Bosque, uh, tell you that I am going to buy the, the first one that we talk about, instead of uh, buying it uh, from uh, Amazon, I am going to buy it from a Canadian uh, webpage called um, AVSOP. And uh, I took this one because it's the cheapest one with uh, the Thunderbolt 3 um, uh, port, which is very important. And uh, yeah, I think it's the best option. And also this box is one of the most used ones and uh, it has a lot of good reviews. Now the most important regarding the graphics card. Well, uh, I was uh, hesitating between the 1650 and 1660, but uh, reviewing Backmarts and uh, I, I, I was uh, also hesitating with the uh, 2060 that uh, performed really well for video editing. But uh, yeah, reviewing Benchmarks, I've seen that uh, the, this uh, 1660 supper um, is not that far from the 2060 card. So, and the price was uh, considerably lower. So, uh, yeah, and seeing that uh, the reviews uh, were good uh, also for for these graphic cards so I am taking it also I checked the bottlenecks and uh, seems uh, they are going to do uh, well together my my laptop and this graphic card 
So yeah, I'm very optimistic. Um, the bad point is uh, it's going to take a while uh, before it arrives. So I will tell you in the comment section as soon as I am able to test it and um, just uh, let's see how it goes. Of course, I will also tell you how my installation uh, will go and uh, all my experience, uh, if I am able to notice uh, an increase in the performance with this uh, external graphic card. And um, yeah, I will provide you all of this information in the comment section uh, down below. Uh, in any case, if you have some questions about this topic, uh, just let me know. And if you like these kind of videos, just uh, give me a like and let me know. Okay, uh, see you in my next one. Thank you, bye.